Welcome back everyone. I want to showcase just a quick little tutorial and I guess a little walkthrough on widgets for iOS 14. Now if you're updated to iOS 14 as of this point then you probably shouldn't because it's super buggy. But in case you did or if you're watching this a couple months later, widgets are super great. I've had them on my iPhone 10 for a while now since even the first day of the beta coming out and they're awesome. They offer a lot of uses and honestly the most exciting thing about widgets is that they're not only are they going to get better and better over time but there's going to be more options in the future i'm sure third-party app developers are going to utilize widgets and they're going to have some really awesome things so basically in order to even get widgets and all that you have to be on ios 14 like i stated and you can get to the widgets panel by swiping left and once you're on the screen you can see all these widgets that you have now it might look like I don't have that many, but usually there's a ton out there. I usually I just you know put them on my main screen. Now let's say there's a specific widget that you like and it's on this panel and you want to bring it to your main screen. All you have to do is hold it down like this and you just want to drag it onto the side right here and you can paste it wherever you want to just like if you're holding down an app. So you can I can go and post it right here if I want to. And once you're done with that, you want to swipe up or you want to click the home button. And that's pretty much the process in order to get the widget on your phone, at least on the main display. Now, there's still some you know weird things going on. Some are buggy. Some widgets may go away. But again, by the official time the iOS 14 comes out, those bugs will probably be fixed. Now, let's say there's some widgets here that you don't see, but you've seen other people have. Well, what you can do is you can hold down one specific widget. You can click edit home screen. And right at the top left corner, you'll see a plus button. What this allows you to do, you go ahead and click plus and you'll see a ton more widgets available for your home screen. Now the top one is a weather one. You can scroll down and see a ton more options. You can see smart stack, which is one a ton of people like, and there's a ton of other ones here available too. Screen time, shortcuts, weather. Now in this case, let's say I want the weather one. I can go ahead and tap it. I can read more about it. And then at the very bottom, it says add widget. You can also see some customizability. You can get the big one or the small one. In this case, I kind of like the big one. So I can go ahead and click add widget and it'll go and add it on my main page. So right here, I can just swipe up and have this widget right here and I can scroll through the rest of my pages and yada, 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 all that good stuff. Now let's say I wanna bring that widget to my home screen again, like I said before, just grab it, grab, drag it to the side wherever I wanna paste it. I'll go ahead and paste it on this screen right here. And for some reason, it didn't wanna stay there. I'm sure that's just a random glitch. And this one is actually the smart stack one, which is interesting. And as you can see, the smart stack one is one that everyone is talking about and you can basically switch it to whichever one you want to see. So let's say I want the weather one here. Well, I can keep the weather, but I can also swipe up to get to my photos. I can swipe up again to get to news. I can swipe up to get to music and all these other ones too, to my notes even. And there's a ton of different options. So you can still keep the weather one there if you want to. But the thing with the smart tech one is that it'll actually learn your behavior over time. So if it knows that you wake up at 10 a.m. and the first thing you look at is the weather, then it'll probably show you the weather in the beginning with and if, you know, at 5 p.m. when you're done with the work, you look at the news or something, then it'll automatically switch to the news and it'll learn your behavior over time, which is really cool. And I think that's awesome. There's so much machine learning involved in this type of software. Now, a question that I see all the time is, are widgets going to affect your battery life? And honestly, I don't know. I mean, it might a little bit. It hasn't really affected mine as far as I can tell. I was already expecting iOS 14 to have pretty bad battery life for now because it is in a beta form. But I haven't seen this battery be super bad, even though I'm on 16% right now. I've been charged this thing in a little bit, and the fact that it still has battery is pretty insane to me, to be honest, but that is pretty much a basic walkthrough of the widgets. I mean, it's pretty easy to add them. There's no reason to explain every single little widget, because they're all pretty much self-explanatory. <laughs> you can see the notes, you can see all these different things, and you can always add more. And let's say the music one, I want to add it, I can go and click on it, and it'll show me exactly what type of functionality this specific one has. Same thing with the files. If I click files, it'll show me things here. Same thing with screen time and all these ones, and if I want to add the widget, all I have to do is click here, it'll add it to here, and I can just drag it to any page that I want to. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really discount, so me so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly, everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.